I actually grew this as a uh, something to honor Christ, and I made one video and I cut it. It's been a year and a half ago now since I cut it, but I, I, I'm uh, wearing this for the Roaring Lion of Zion. This is my mane. Be part of Buddhism uh, and be part of the the Lion of Zion's tribe because he wants a pride. That is a family of uh, lions. He don't want no more stupid sheep. So if you're in Christianity, come and be a Buddhist. Uh, be like Steven Seagal. Man, that guy rocks. Uh, he can start his own faith. He's got some really brilliant things. So I highly recommend it because he's Seagal. <laughs> Hero of heroes, champion of champions. Man, that guy, I, I my arm is like, he'd break my little wrist. <laughs> hey, Stephen, I, I gotta be nice to that guy. But uh, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me, and it's good enough for the Dalai Lama who accurately has says that the one faith in this world that does have a chance is everybody love everybody. It's time to just love everybody. Uh, that came from uh, Will Ferrell movie is semi-pro many years ago and it's time to make it real everybody love everybody and it, you know and it's it have like a love love club to walk in peace to walk in love and that is the only religion that we need and it's time to let go of obsolete religion and uh, go back to the roots of all of our religions when there wasn't condemnation upon everyone like there is in these days so know that it's time for the fire of love and, and no need will ever, there's 2 billion Christians in this world. I'm a Christian apologist, by the way. My name is Daniel F. Owsley. And uh, I make no apology about that because their religion is backwards and it bears no resemblance to uh, Christ who preached. Uh, Christ could not preach in any churches these days. So I invite all Christians to run and lead. Join Buddhism, do yourself a favor. Seagal, man. And uh, all kidding aside, the thing is, all who love are born of God and born again and know him because God is love. So if you're loving a uh, Buddhist, you're a born again Buddhist. Uh, we can be a demon or we can be an angel. And I invite everybody to be, uh, and if, you're, if you don't want to be uh, in, in a religion, fine. But uh, look to the meditation and the, the looking at the kingdom of God within you. Uh, the inner peace, the tranquility and serenity that will come through meditation. And so be a, be like a, a Buddhist, even if you're an alcoholic, be a Buddhist alcoholic. Be a, a, if you're an agnostic or an atheist, okay, be a Buddhist uh, uh, agnostic or an atheist. Just, you know, look for that peace within. Because love, according to the word of God, those who love are born again and know God because God is love. So if you're an atheist, you don't believe in God, but you're a loving one, then you're a born again atheist. Uh, so know that fire is fire. And this is the time for the blazing fire of no, of no respect to all men. And it's time that we stop being respecters of people. Uh, and because it will burn in everyone, good or bad, as all those of love are divinely consumed. If you like a, f if, if uh, who said Buddha? Buddha said that uh, if you like a flower, you're you're, you're going to just pluck it. But if you love a flower, you're going to water it. You're going to take care of it. And that is what we need to understand. So as these days of the end comes, no knees are going to bow to the name of Jesus. That name didn't even come around until the 17th century. Every knee is going to bow down to God's name of love. Because the Bible proclaims, I am the Lord God of all mankind, which means he is the Lord God of all Buddhism and all people of the world. And the world has forgotten this. And I'm here to remind everybody. And for that reason, every knee will bow to his name of love that was written by John the uh, Apostle. Um, nobody wrote the name of Jesus. The, no one could even tell you who. Because you see, until the 17th century, the name was Yeshua and Yahweh. And then it was translated into to, uh, Latin to Jehovah and Jesus. And so there was never an apostle or, or no, no one that wrote the name of Jesus. Uh, it was just a translation of a translation. 
And so, I mean, uh, the actual Jesus, uh, when they call him for dinner, it was Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. He, Muhammad never heard the name of Jesus either. It was just, so every knee will not bow to the name of Jesus. Every tongue will not confess the name of Jesus. They will confess the name of love. All things shall be restored before Christ came, he said in Matthew 17, 11, But none of the Christians have any ears to believe anything that is foretold in their own Bible. So maybe someone, Buddhist, might have some brains. Because uh, if it's good enough for Steven Seagal, he's got lots of brains. I love his quotes. But one of these days I'm going to do a program just on his quotes alone. You can make your own faith just out of that. And because he's not afraid of life and he ain't afraid of death. And I believe that. And that that's I'm in his corner with that. And for that reason, hey, I'm budding up right to that guy uh, because he can give us inspiration. And so now comes a days of spiritual understandings which will now arise from the ashes of mankind's very worst stupidity. So let the wise who want to shine as the stars, let them now carefully examine the following prophecy from this fullness of time of the Gentiles, which is screaming out the following word of love's message to curse all, to cause all people to unite uh, with others within forgiveness. And it's time for reconciliation of mankind. Just to all give a one big group hug. Everybody love everybody. And get along in the sandbox. Quit throwing sand. Come on over to Steven Seagal's uh, club. And know that such amnesty of forgiveness is now being given from on high. Uh, our majesty of majesty is pouring out the uh, heaven's floodgates. He's pouring out his spirit of love upon all flesh. And his love is now raging as a wildfire within, the, the, within those sick of subtle hatred that most religions have been unknowingly fanning into becoming a, like a, 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 a something that, that should not even be, something that should not even exist. Because uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's actually in this world, most religion has just become a blaze of corruption and accusation and spiritual racism. Spirituality is on the rise and religiosity is being hated in this world. So it's time to get rid of it and have everybody love everybody faith. This is the faith of that. This is the faith of Chrislam. They have been, Israel has been named Chrislam because they've inherited all the loving Christians and Islamics and all people of the earth. They inherited all mankind. The Bible says so, Isaiah 54, 3. So know that uh, all the brainwashed Christians and all the Islamics and all that are backwards in their uh, understandings of religion, they've, they've only been transforming in the bigots after becoming inflamed with uh, baseless spiritual racism that, that all man-made faiths have always created. Now it's time for the perfect faith, the faith of love. So if you're going to be a, a agnostic, be a Buddhist agnostic and then look for the serenity within the kingdom of god is within us but as the lord's brightest fire of love now explodes as a great inferno of blessings all people welcoming the faith of everybody love everybody will incinerate immediately all the bullshit of all religions it's time instead of what would jesus do wwjdd what would love do WWLD, because nobody's going to be bowing down to the name of Jesus except just the Christians only in their backwards, obsolete uh, religion, because these are the days of Elijah when the covenant message has now been given to all mankind. God is saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I'll never remember it again. I'll write my law and my love on your heart. And beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught about me anymore. No one. For all Buddhists will know me, from the least to the greatest, as long as you keep your love alive as a child. Leave the land of the walking dead where it just becomes a noun instead of a verb when we were kids. Uh, and, and then we have a form of godliness, but deny the power of love whom is God living in all of us. So it's time that love will be, finally be able to set aflame all of our foolishness. And then his most passionate tears will cry for wanting hearts to become ready for his hottest flames of forthcoming amazement uh, sent forth flooding the earth from the 
the great white throne on high. So let all people invite love into their heart. Be a, be a loving Buddhist. Be a loving whatever you are uh, to, to light up the Lord's transforming fire as we all become born again for those who love are born again of God and know God because God is love living within each of us so just let's get that love moving again leave the land of the walking dead for such a blaze of love and peace that comes from his highest glory can never be put out and it is time that all people of the earth need to uh, inflame that uh, fire because it will burn down the circle of earth with love. And this is the flying scroll that I am reading. And uh, it is written in the book of Habakkuk, let all those who readeth this run, because it's time. The, the, the one, um, if you listen to my other uh, channels, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna even say no more. That's enough said. Love you lots. Until next time. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>